Okay guys, welcome back. Okay. Now the objective, the total objective here, and the only objective at the moment is to get this deep type pivot, which we saw in Hogan and Sneed and uh, Demerit and all those guys, the great Australian player Norman von Neider. They all went this way. They were very deep pivots with the knee going here. So they, they were elevating the right hip in the back. It was up here. They had a lot of elevation in the right side. And it was very angular. And, and you know, what I call cross-lateral, cross-diagonal. It's here. So that's what I'm trying to do. And, I, and like everybody else, you know, uh, through the years I've basically just taken the club like this. In very much that way. Up and down the line. But I don't think that's the way to uh, swing the golf club. Alright, now I'm really going to concentrate on the deepness of that pivot and I'm going to try and get that left leg going this way. But I want to get a little bit of shuttle. So there's a few things I have to work on myself to get this, uh, to get this uh, cooking, so to speak. Got to take it back. And I'm, I'm a bit anxious today because I've got a, a few things on my mind in other areas and uh, I'm very, very quick. So I've got to make sure that I'm setting the golf club. I'm setting it. The good thing about it is even when I miss time it like that shot, they still go straight. It just takes probably 10 to 12 percent of the, the power and the impetus off the shot. It still goes dead straight. Okay. Come on, Joe. It's just that nice sneed. Um, tempo and momentum. There you go. Beautiful shot. Now that ball hasn't moved one yard. Just That's a straight flight. And considering that wind is left to right, it's held this line with straight flight. Now I could, I could, I could actually get here uh, probably another 20%. Because we want to look like this guy. That's a pure pivot. The real pivot in golf is lost. You don't see it anymore. What you see today is manufactured body movements. There's no natural pivot process, no natural transferring of weight. It's all a manufactured, I think a hodgepodge of motions put together and they call it a modern golf swing. And I think it's, for the most part, it's, it's not, I don't like it. It doesn't have any natural Ness about. So we'll try and be as natural and as flowy as we possibly can. We're just going to try and get that, yeah, get that back to the target. Yes, dead straight. Now the reason I'm concentrating so much on the backswing. Uh, and I have to program in that downswing motion. If I haven't got a program for it, I can never do it. So, so it's okay to say that there's a natural effect in a golf swing. There is if you've programmed it in. If I just do this, that's pretty natural because that's the body reacting to balancing me, not making a golf swing. It's reacting to balancing me. Now I have to get that train of thought going as opposed to a golf swing. I'm thinking about a golf swing now and even though I'm trying to be natural I'm still thinking about positioning the club. I have to get rid of that. It's got to be this. See how I get into my left side there? If I could do that in the golf swing, that's what I'm trying to do. Now I'll just try and do that. I don't care where the ball goes, but I'm going to try and do that. I've never done that in my life, but I'll just try and do it. Now it went dead straight, but I mistimed it. Because even though I thought I wanted to do that or other one, as soon as the golf ball's here, and even for someone like me who's hit probably, you know, four million golf balls, I've still got that that inhibition factor about the golf ball. I've got to get rid of that. I've got to get rid of that and just have the purity of golf swing.
It's like this. That's right out of the centre of the golf club, guys. Dead flush. As they say in that movie, dead solid perfect. Very strong left to right wind. And that ball's not moving. Right, I'm going to get it back. This is a bit boring, but it's good for me because I'm only doing this at the moment for myself. I'm going home and I'm reviewing this and saying, JH, what are you doing? How much of what you're saying are you actually achieving? I know at the moment I'm not achieving a great deal, but I'll get there. And I just felt then my grip pressure was probably a three, maybe a four. So I was thinking about everything else. I've got to back that grip down to one, and that lets the momentum uh, come into the golf swing. Ah, that feels much better already. This will be much better. Ha! Oh, hallelujah. Okay, JH is never going to be as, as uh, slow and, and rhythmic as Sam Snead because I wasn't built, born in the, um, the Blue Ridge Mountains and I didn't have that really uh, slow lifestyle. I've been a motor racer, I've been a you know, martial arts instructor, I do everything quick. Everything I've ever done in my life is quick, so I'm never going to have that because my body's not tuned that way. But if I can just back everything down a little bit, we'll be right. Here we go, guys. This is a hybrid, this is a JH if he was born in the, uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. I might go and live in the Blue Ridge Mountains. That's just right out of the centre. As we say in Australia, in the I diddle diddle means the middle. Now that's just perfect on Perfect, perfect on I just hit this new little Wilson hybrid because it's very windy and I want to hit a couple of shots under the wind. And the longer club just gives me a chance to swing a little bit longer. Whoop. How was that, Pete? Huh? Good? Excellent. That was a flush o -matic, that one. Wow. My buddy Pete is working on this, and he's always been the, the greatest advocate of this anyway. I mean, he, as I say, hammers me every day and just says, J.H., you, you've, uh, you've got to have a little bit more flow and tempo. Here we go. Just straight out of the centre of the club. Just stood up on that a little bit. Really flush contact. Got to get here. Got to get more through the ball. That's about 85 percent. I'm happy with it. Perfect contact off the club. Very quick. And what happened there? And this is tough for me, guys, because I, I don't usually experience this sort of thing. But this is really hard on me because. It's a conscious effort for me to learn this new process. Very, very conscious. And I felt myself really grip hard then. Still went dead straight, just didn't time it. Okay, nice and smooth. Considering there's a really hard left to right wind, that's really strong. Can I can back that down? I'm I had a big workout in the gym today and a lot of really quick stuff and I'm paying the price for it right now. I feel very strong but very quick. See that was just a really super power draw straight back into the wind. Okay one more and we'll just do some more explanation video. 